Two Parisian townhouses, a castle, vast office space in Lyon, and even a stud farm. The list of Rufat al-Assad's French assets is long. So whose money paid for it all? His alleged crimes span the period between 1984 and 2016 and include aggravated tax fraud and misappropriation of Syrian funds. Ces biens ont été obtenus d'un montant de plusieurs dizaines de millions d'euros, auraient pu être obtenus de manière illicite. Euh, et c'est en, en inadéquation sans doute avec certains postes qu'il a eu auparavant, notamment en tant que vice-président de la Syrie. A former Damascus heavyweight, Rifat al-Assad left Syria in 1984 after mounting a failed coup against his brother Hafez. He lived first in Switzerland, then France. His assets are registered to companies nestled in offshore tax havens, an attempt, say prosecutors, to hide how they were acquired. Assad's defense team says it all came from Saudi Arabia. Ce n'est pas de l'argent public syrien à l'origine. Au moment de son arrivée en Suisse, avant d'arriver en Syrie, en France. Euh, en France, pardon, il reçoit un soutien financier de la part de ses amis. The 82-year-old defendant didn't appear in court for his trial last December due to ill health. Prosecutors are seeking a four-year prison sentence, a 10 million euro fine, and also the confiscation of all of Assad's French real estate. Rifat al-Assad is also facing the possibility of a Spanish trial on charges of ill-gotten gains. That as Switzerland continues to pursue charges of war crimes against him, allegedly committed in Syria in the 1980s.